In this video, we travel to Burgos in northern Spain and discover some amazing hidden gems both in the city and nearby. The Camino de Santiago runs right through Burgos, which is evident as one walks around the historic centre. There is plenty to see in addition to the many good restaurants and bars. There are museums, the Monastery of Santa Maria Real de las Huelgas, the old castle with views of the city, and of course, the incredible Cathedral de Santa Maria de Burgos. This cathedral is absolutely stunning. Here are at least three examples. The Golden Staircase, Papa Mosca's The Flycatcher. Its mouth used to open and would create a loud scream which would surprise visitors, but it was decided to turn this off as it is located in a sacred location. His mouth still opens and closes to the chimes today. The cathedral is also the final resting place of El Cid, born in Viva a village near the city of Burgos. Situated in the heart of the cathedral is the tomb of El Cid, Rodrigo Diaz de Viva. His wife, Jimena Diaz, is also buried with him. There is a Latin inscription on the tomb which translates to Brave and Unconquered, famous in triumphs of war, lies in this tomb, Roderick the Great of Viva. His wooden coffin is also on display. Apparently, the original tombs of El Cid and his wife were located at the monastery of San Pedro de Cardeña. The monastery is just seven miles traveling southeast from the city and takes about 20 minutes by car. El Cid found refuge in this monastery during his exile. Fifty-five miles east of Burgos is the village of San Mian, named after the monk who lived nearby. The journey takes about an hour and a half by car from Burgos. There are two monasteries, named Suso and Yuso. The names Suso and Yuso mean the upper and the lower in archaic Castilian. San Mian spent 40 years living and studying in solitude in a cave. The monastery was built in the 6th century and now houses the remains of San Mian. It is said that the remains of San Mian were being taken by ox cart by the king, much to the disappointment of the local monks. The oxen stopped on the plain near the river and refused to move. The king, thinking that this must be a miracle, ordered that the second monastery was built, which is named Yuso. After San Mian's death, a monk found an important script in Latin and made notes at the side in the Castile language, the origin of the Spanish language today. Just imagine, the second spoken language in the whole world may have started right here. Our third and final quick look at three fabulous locations in northern Spain is 37 miles east of Burgos to Sad Hill Cemetery. In this world, there's two kinds of people, those with loaded guns and those who dig. In this world, there are two types of people, the que who have and the que who have It is not a real cemetery, it is a film set used in the film The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Filmed in 1966, the set was completely overgrown by 2014. The area was restored in 2015 by a group of volunteers. Sad Hill, La Colina Triste, consists of 5,000 graves. During restoration, one could have one's name written on a wooden cross for a small fee. It takes an hour by car, and as far as we know, is the only way to get there. There is an uneven road down to the cemetery from the main road. Please be careful when driving down the track, 